Hello and thank you for watching this short video on helping you to solve a problem that happens quite often after you switch to a new exchange server or over to the Office 365 online exchange system. This may happen to you where you send an email out to the people in your own organization and a few minutes later you get a bounce back message that looks something like this. And these are people you've sent to a million times. You've never had an issue before but all of a sudden now on the new system you get bounce backs on these people with these strange messages that look like this in the bounce back email. This is actually a very simple problem to solve. It's also very common. There's only two things you need to do for each of these recipients, and we recommend you go ahead and do this for each person in your organization and make sure they can see this video as well so if they have this problem, uh, they have an easy way to solve it. The issue is caused by two things, that person living in your people or contacts directory and also that person living in what they call the Outlook type ahead cache and you just have to delete it from both places. So for instance, if I click a new email and I begin to type Jonathan's name, Outlook has this type ahead cache right here that suggests the person's name. That actually is the problem. That type ahead cache, that suggestion has the old information from your old Exchange server and that's why when you go ahead and populate it and accept that, it will try to send it to the old email, the old Exchange server properties and it fails and it bounces back. So you have to hit this little X here at the end to completely delete that entry in the type ahead cache. Once you delete it, it forces Outlook to go look for the new properties the next time you send to Jonathan or whoever it may be. So that's the first thing you do is simply click the X here next to their name and then finish typing their email address and it will send just fine the next time. The other thing you need to do is find that person in your people or contacts directory. That contact also has incorrect information. And unfortunately, there's no easy way to go inside this contact data here and fix the properties that are wrong. So the best thing to do is just simply delete this contact completely for this person in your organization and recreate it all together. Now, if you don't have a contact for this person, then that's not the problem for you. You've probably fixed it with the previous solution we showed you on the type of head cache. Now, if there's a bunch of things in here you really need, like addresses or notes, go to the file menu and choose print and print out that contact real quick first so you can recreate it later. But basically, you want to completely delete this contact entry. Then, ideally, what you want to do is after you've deleted each contact for your own organization, then you can go to the address book link up here, change this drop down to global address list, and it will list all the people in your organization. And then you can literally right click on them and say add to contacts, and it will put them back as a brand new contact with the correct properties back in your, in your people or your contacts list here. You just do that for each one of them all the way down, add to contacts, and they'll be back in there. And then you can go to into each one of those and re-add the address back in from your printout and so on. So those are the only two things you really need to do to solve this problem. Delete the type ahead cache for each person and delete the contact for each person in your people directory. We hope this short video helps you with this problem and thank you for being an Anexion customer.